between you and your son? Because a lot of people from the outside, the boy looked just like you. That's good. They, they just, they, they, a lot of people from the outside think that that situation is sad, man. The child can't come yeah, to something. Yeah, it is sad. It's a sad situation, right? And when you pray for success, you don't necessarily pray for the things that come with it, right? And there's no such thing as success without jealousy, without envy, or entitlement. Entitlement is growing in someone you love in the scariest part, right? Mm. And his mom developed an entitlement that cannot be met. Mm. Filtering that energy through his his actual personal interests. Let's say now that he's starting to like females, he's conscious of what kind of shoes he want to wear. Oh, I need these Jordans, the retro Jordans is coming, different things. And then his mother go, all right. I get them for you, but it just bothers me because you're supposed to have them all. So while being a privileged child, he feels deprived. When you had everything, I didn't have. That 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 that, them, that shit says it all, bro. From like, the reason I'm watching this because I just reacted to uh, Buddy saying uh, 80k a year wasn't good enough for him, and what 50 just said just explains everything. He's like having a privileged child that feels deprived. When you have everything I didn't have, it's just you feel you need to be more privileged because of who I am. When you already have everything that you need, that you could ever, because you do ever want. The only reason that you could ever want, and the only reason why you think that you want more is because of who I am, which is the definition of entitlement. You were entitled to more because I have more. And that's you know, that's that's untrue. Every parent is different, and clearly, fifty is like, nah, you ain't entitled to extra because. I am who I am. I provided you a fucking baseline that most motherfuckers would dream to to have available to them, but it's not enough for you because you feel like you're entitled to more. And you know, that's a problem. Mm. When you had everything I didn't have. Mm. I can tell you how much my kids cost in New York State, 1.360. You see what I'm saying? And one point three six million dollars. In New York State, one point three sixty. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And and I don't have an issue with paying the support. But the reason why I'm the way I am with, with those kind of situations, I pay my support that year that the baby's born. Move the money to the account, let it and it, and it autom automatically disperses a certain amount of money per per you know each each month. Mm. So, with with him, I, I I noticed over the years like it developed. Damn. So yeah, fifty drops the money for the entire eighteen years, and you count the years the baby's born. One point three six million sitting in there. You know what I'm saying? And that wasn't enough. And the only issue, the only variable in it is entitlement. That's it. And you have hostility towards me because you feel like you're entitled to more because I can provide more when the state telling me this is what I need to provide you. But you think I need to pay you more. It's principle. Like, it's principle, though. I, I, I bet if the communication took place differently, you know what I mean? If there was type of rapport of, like, actual communication between he, like, if they actually had a father to son relationship, 50 wouldn't have no problem providing his, his, his son more. You know what I'm saying, but the fact that he's the fact that he feel like he's entitled to more, and in the manner in which he conducts himself with Fifty is a fucking problem. I'm like, man, fuck you. What you mean? I I I would I I I can I can totally understand the hostility, especially when it's a man coming of age and feels like he's a man now talking to his man, talking to his father, which is a man with the likes of Fifty. You know what I mean? Like, you ain't talking to no regular Joe Schmo, bro. Like, you need to you need to come and be correct. You feel like you're entitled to more outside of what the state is requiring me to pay to you. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. 50 ain't doing shit wrong. Like, motherfuckers can judge him because this is his father, blah, 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 blah. But at the end of the day, he's he's going by the book. This is what they want me to pay. This is what the fuck I'm going to pay. $1.3 million. One point three million dollars from the time he was born, and then with that, with that, I guarantee fucking because if it's if it's the day he was born, you know what I'm saying? All that money going to the moms, so she gonna do whatever the fuck she doing with the fucking money. You know what I'm saying? Like I, there was she ain't had no financial advisor. I'd have, I bet she ain't got she ain't got nobody telling her what the fuck to do with that money. It's one point three sitting in that bank, and they issuing a certain amount 
uh, each month. So whatever the fuck she do with that money, whatever whatever the fuck she doing with that money, which is something that homeboy didn't take up with his mom's. And 50 as well, but it's all about how the delivery, how you approach it. And if you being a fucking asshole about it, dog is a principle. It's principle. With, with him, I, I, I noticed over the years that like, it developed, because I blamed on his mom for a long time. But it's not his mother, it's him. Mm. Like, I've gone places where he was at, he left. Mm. Fifth, you I love yourself? I used to. Mm. You ask yourself how long, a complicated question would say, how long can you love something that don't love you back? Mm. Mm. That's you see so I've, I've, I've never I don't like this is so foreign to me hearing a father say that he doesn't love that's probably the first time I've ever heard it. That's the first time I'm ever, I've ever heard that a parent say that they do not love their child. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, I'm trying to think of other other instances where a parent feels like they are That they are like they've been content. That they've been shit on constantly by a child, like loving something that don't love you back. Like how 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 much can somebody sustain that? How much how much can someone endure? I'd imagine there's a bunch of parents that don't give a fuck. They're gonna still ride with their fucking parent. They still at least they will love them. They may not fuck with them, but to say that to say that they don't love them, that's a whole different ball game. So I can't I can't relate to that at all. But you know I I can understand where he's coming from. The likes of fifty and you know I'm doing what the fuck I'm doing. And you you shitting on me because of entitlement like you know that pride and ego getting the fucking way bro i bet that's a lot to do with it dog like what do you do what do you do and in this experience you look and you say i i didn't think success would cost me my first born mm. but it's the situation it's like my grandfather would say if i like a snake if it's slipped like a snake is it a snake or do you need to be bit Mm. Right, and that's the ache in South Carolina, and I'm just the it's country, a hard ass analogy. You know what I'm and what he keeps saying is, every time you see the boy, he's short with somebody you got a problem with. What does that take? That he wishes you People harm, bro. Will always try to make relationships on a common bond of disliking someone. Like, be friends with you because your enemy is my enemy. Yeah, and he sees himself that way. To the extent ways he's actually taking pictures with Prem son or, or doing different things that, mm, and you go, yeah. well, I'm like, I don't even understand yeah. where the motivation comes from with these names. But <laughs> can like, you like legit, his son is his enemy. What he just said. Mm. Mm. That's what he said. Like his son looked at him as an enemy. How can you love that? And you go, well, I'm like, I don't even understand where your motivation comes from with these things, but. Can you excuse any of that because of how young he is? No, he's 23 years old, 24 years old. It's not a baby no more, it's a grown man. Facts. See, they, I look at you as you've grown, the decisions that you make, as you start to pass what they would have did to us. They would have they would have charged me like an adult at 15. So at 23, it's like you grown, grown in my head. My homeboys, they had their babies at 15. At that point in the neighborhood, that was when you actually got into, we, we started the, the, the sexual thing. But I do wonder how many conversations uh, took place, right? You know, because 50 years of pop, supposed to be the fucking bigger man and get to the source of the problem and shit. Like, if you actually, if you think that you are, if you think your son is looking at you like an enemy, really like having that energy with you, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, I, I'm, I'm 50 is smart. He's a fucking genius, bro. Like he he knows. So I'd imagine he did his due diligence trying to fucking fix it, fix whatever the fuck that is. I just, um, it just sucks, bro. It just sucks. It just sucks to hear that, dog. That's crazy. Like, I've never heard a circumstance like that. And his high profile is fucking 50 is in his fucking son. It makes sense. It makes all the sense in the world that his fucking son will get on fucking IG Live looking like a whole bitch saying that 80K a year wasn't good enough for him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's yeah, something yeah. to really get into. And everybody, 15, 16 years old, was the point that he was having kids. So, like, I, I was super late with him because I didn't want to have, you know, something that I didn't actually connect with because we both was babies, mm. you know, at that point. And then later, you know, I mean, it did, does, all these things don't turn out the way you want. Life just doesn't work like that. 
You know what I mean? And what would have to happen for you guys to have a relationship again? That's the last question I'll ask about it. Um, I don't know. I ran into him one time. This, this is ill, right? Right after, um, it was two months before his support was finished. Right? And two months before his support was finished. At the time, he's standing at the actual the desk talking to the jeweler, and he had, he had a small diamond chain, two small diamond chains, trying to get a bigger diamond chain, right? Trading them, see how much can you get that one? And I walked in, he goes, oh, you have somebody like, like watching me? I said, nah. He said, oh, so coincidence? He said, yeah, yeah, coincidence. Then he turned back to the jeweler, he goes back to talking to the jeweler, and he's like, nah, nah, I can't do that. Now I'm like, because of how much the jeweler's asking him for. So he can't do a booth. Negotiating, putting two small diamond chains back to get a bigger diamond chain with the money I'm mailing it. His mother never had, she never had a job. She didn't do nothing. I would have questioned whether I was wrong if she did something after the fact. She genuinely did not want to do nothing. This girl looked in my face and told me, like, she was like, you put my Tyson's on? I said, yeah. She said, why you ain't telling me this? I said, because you ain't moving in. <laughs> she, well, I would have had to leave them in Mike Tyson's house. Like Mike left. It's, it's the old lady in them there when I got it. You see what I'm saying? So, because they would have said he's accustomed to this lifestyle and this is what he would have had. would have changed the whole scenario. So, when I said, nah, you got to go. I'm trying to keep up with the Joneses, living that fucking lifestyle. Mm. Yeah, it's rough, man. Like, they just. His son needs to grow the fuck up. He's being immature as shit. Like entitlement is a is a immaturity thing. You know what I mean? Like if you feel like if you are if you like if you are feeling like you're entitled to shit and you're not entitled to it, that's the sign of immaturity. You know what I mean? And um uh I, I don't know. It's it's fucked up. I understand fifty side. Right, I got an entitled ass, spoiled ass son who feel like I owe him more when I provided him everything I was required to pay, and then the energy he's having with me is what makes me, what puts me off with like even fucking with him. You know what I mean? Like he bringing my enemies around, motherfuckers that don't fuck with me, and like he's treating me like a fucking enemy. So how the fuck am I supposed to continue to like to love that or whatever, or whatever? Like I mean, I can understand him not fucking with him, like not fucking with his son, but. The, the the for him to verbalize saying I do not love my son like you know that that was crazy but you know everybody whatever everybody's different dog you know what I mean everybody everybody go through their shit so you know hopefully one day his son will fucking grow up and figure it out and realize he has a motherfucking like just the one like the, the amount of knowledge. 50 has in that goddamn brain to put his son on game and you just shitting on every opportunity that is there sitting there waiting for you to fucking dive in because your pride ego and and entitlement is in the way bro like i gotta fucking point the blame at, at his son marquise bro you moving out you out here moving crazy bro like come on dog come on man you know what i mean chill out bro just go out there be a fucking man and turn and own your own bro you got you had the luxury of getting 80k a year tax free that's a fucking head start, bro. Like, grow the fuck up. You know, get you some nuts and take care of yours. No, don't nobody owe you shit. You know what I mean? That's how I'm on. But I'm not. I, I couldn't say I don't love my son. You know what I mean, right? But anyway, anyway, that was definitely uh, um, informative, to say the least, man. Appreciate y'all putting me on, man. Uh, yeah, peace.